wish everyone is nice. All right, so um, I'm going to do my lightning talk on the path to the open source city. I asked Patrick for some intro music, but we quite couldn't pull it off, so we'll, we'll have to go without the music for today. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I want to share a story with you today, a story about uh, a book I recently self-published called The Foundation for an Open Source City. And um, God, my time's already up. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what I, the story, although I wrote, started writing the story about uh, late December, um, I, the story really began about two and a half years ago when I found a way to blend my passions. My passion for open source, my passion for civic participation, and my, my passion for my, um, my local community. And that came in the form of the open government movement. And what I've discovered is that I've been involved with open source for over a decade, but I'm not a coder, I'm a community builder. And I, took, I found a way to, to take my, my passion and my, my skill set from a project management perspective and from a community building perspective and apply it to something like open government where I was passionate. So um, when most people think of government, we've kind of talked about it today, they think of things like taxes or voting or, um, or the vending machine and the services that are offered. But for me, citizen participation uh, or open government is really about the two-way conversation and the dialogue that happens between citizens and the government. So there are three core principles that really drive the open government movement, and those are transparency, collaboration, and participation. Now those are really familiar to me because I use those every day when I, uh, in my open source world. So let's talk about open source. Uh, from a software perspective, right, open source is the ability for a developer or really anyone to see how a computer program operates. This is important because not only can they see how it operates, they have the ability to modify the code and to enhance it. And when we enhance it, that's when we're able to build upon the technology and make it better. And really, it's the chance for the best ideas to rise to the top and improve the technology at a really rapid pace. Well, let's not get caught up in the technology right now. What is open source to someone like you and me? Open source is like a recipe. Uh, because you can see the list of ingredients and instructions on how to create uh, software, how to create food or a pumpkin spice latte, you can add more spice to it because you can see that, that list of instructions. Uh, you really complete the open source cycle when you share out the modifications that you've done with the world so that they can build upon them. That's the power of the open source development model, when you can take what you've learned and share it with the world and they can continue to improve on it. So I want to bring it back um, to, to a place where you know open source is not just about software, right? It's about it's a philosophy and it's a way of life. When you think about all the things I'm talking about, transparency and collaboration and rapid prototyping, we bundle that all up into a term that I call the open source way. And I get to talk about that every day in my job at Red Hat uh, with opensource.com. It's an online publication and community where we're highlighting how the open source way is applied to different disciplines like business and education and government. But this is where I want to bring it back to Raleigh. Right? What I saw happening two and a half years ago was, uh, was a great story. And the catalyst, or one of the moments in time that got started was when I sat down and did an interview with former Raleigh Mayor Charles Meeker. And I asked him, like, how can we take these principles and ideas of open source and apply it to a living and breathing city? Well, uh, from, from that notion, I had other folks started contacting me. Hey, how can I get involved in this open government thing? I really want to make a difference. So that's when uh, we came up with, uh, let's do a city camp. So for two years, uh, we've done the city camp here in Raleigh, and as I said earlier, we've upgraded that experience here to be uh, City Camp North Carolina. And we've run a successful event, and uh, it, it's been a great way to start the conversation, but it's also been a great way to um, catapult us and make these advances that Bonner talked about earlier. So, um, let's see where I'm at. So Open Government Open Conference. So we've done this here, uh, we've upgraded it, and this is where I want to kind of bring it back to, to the story of Raleigh and bring it back to my book. Right? We've seen uh, innovation not only come from the government side, right? we've seen it, uh, City of Raleigh deploying applications like C-Click Fix and My Raleigh subscriptions, but citizens are doing things like Triangle Wiki and creating mobile applications like R Greenway, and it's a partnership between citizens and their government. What I realized over the last two and a half years is that we're creating a robust open source and open data community here in the Triangle, and it's awesome, and you can see the result of things that are happening like we're doing today. All right, so uh, bringing it back to the book, what I saw happening, and I started to identify these different principles, um, things like culture and open government policy and open data policy and the impact uh, it has on economic development. We're uh, with producing all this open source data, we are having a positive impact on our economy. So I want to leave you with two thoughts today. First, 
But open source is a better way. It's not only is it a better way to run a project, to run a conference, it's a better way to run your organization. And I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you to go to a session and share an idea and take ownership in something. And I want to challenge you that after the conference to find a community and find a project and get involved and change the world the open source way. No help.